You're listening to today's inspirational message on pursuing God with Gene Apple. Here's Gene. Hey, the weekend is almost here, and uh, I hope you can join us on an Eastside campus this weekend. We're going to continue on part two of our series, Something More, Becoming God's Best Version of You. You need locations, you need service times, just check out eastside.com. Everything you need is right there. It's easy to forget in the aftermath of Easter that Easter is a three-day story, right? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, death, burial, resurrection, distress, darkness, deliverance. This is such an important truth to hold on to because as many of you have experienced, deliverance doesn't always come in our lives quickly. In fact, while the third day always comes for the follower of Jesus, it's not always even in this lifetime. Sometimes the miracle or the healing happens on earth. Sometimes the miracle or healing happens in heaven. Some people are confined by a disability or to a wheelchair for their entire lifetime. Some broken marriages don't reconcile. Some disturbed minds don't heal. Some of you may realize health is failing and it's not going to get better. So what's your hope then? I'll tell you, it's hope forever. It's hope beyond the grave. That's the best plan B ever. The Apostle John was given a glimpse of heaven in the book of Revelation, and he wrote in Revelation 21, God himself will be with them, be their God. He'll wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. Some of you live in pain every day in your body, but heaven will be pain-free, Advil-free, arthritis-free. How fantastic is that? Our children with special needs will be healthy and whole and able of body and mind. Our, our loved ones and family members who sit in wheelchairs and park in handicapped spaces will be able to run and skip. I can't wait for you. Some of you who live with emotional scars and nightmares and memories and flashbacks and heartbreaks and disappointments that are overwhelming even right now, none of them will be in heaven. There'll be no anxious waiting rooms, no bloated stomachs, no global pandemics, no wars, no empty tissue boxes. No tear-stained divorce papers, no motionless ultrasound, no tiny caskets. And did you notice who the Bible said is going to wipe away the tears from your eyes when you get to heaven? The same hands that carved the mountains, the same tiny fingers that reached up from a manger, the same hands that touched the sick and made them well, the same hands that were nail pierced for our transgressions will wipe away every tear from your cheek. What a day that will be. What a reunion where we're, when we're reunited with family and loved ones who are already there. Revelation 19 says the first day in heaven will be like the wedding of the lamb. I've performed hundreds of weddings over the years. And to me, one of the most exciting moments is when the bride starts down the aisle. The groom sees her for the first time that day. She has spent hours preparing herself. She's been to the manicures, the hairstylist, the tanning bed. She's been spray painted at the makeup artist. She's looking good. She's prepared herself. And often while everyone is standing looking at the bride, I'll, I'll turn to the groom and just say, what do you think? And sometimes they'll just say, wow or she's gorgeous, or sometimes the transformation is so dramatic, they'll say, she's beautiful, but where's my fiance? <laughs> no, they don't say that. She's beautiful, why? Because she's prepared herself. Jesus said, I go and prepare a place for you. When did he say that? About 2000 years ago, right? Can you imagine what he's been preparing for 2000 years? It's going to be an incredible place, a forever kind of place. And if your hope is in the right box, if your hope chest is in an empty tomb, what a day, what a moment it will be when you cross from death to life and experience hope forever. And in that moment, let the worship begin. In that moment, we will encounter our forgiver, our savior face to face, and you will see his nail scarred hands. You will witness the smile on his face. You will hear the words from his lips. Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your reward. God, what a day, what a glorious, unbelievable, incredible, indescribable day that will be. And we thank you that you promised to bring healing and wholeness to our lives. And if not in this life, in the next. And so God, we cling to our hope 
in you now and forever because of the empty tomb. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great weekend. See you back here on Monday.